Okay. Good afternoon. I am Kim Warner, and I am uh, recording um, at Renewed Mind Wellness Center. Uh, we just want to offer our services, group therapy. We have individual therapy. That's for children and adults, um, even seniors. Uh, we're located at 4170 South Decatur Boulevard. Uh, we're SAPTA approved, which means that we are able to um, assist those that are um, co-occurring in um, drug and mental health or also um, addictive, you know, uh, problems or challenges. Um, yes, um, people that uh, have been molested, women and men, um, if you have um, sexual addictions, we're able to help you with that. Um, rape victims, some people are out there, they have traumatic uh, experiences that they haven't discussed, uh, PTSD, that kind of thing. Uh, schizophrenic, we're able to help all um, manners of disorders. Um, if you need services, you can call us at 702-331-4484 um, and um, come in to uh, be assessed by one of our um, clinicians. We do take insurance, and if you don't have insurance, we have a pay scale that you're able to, um, you know, um, visit during the uh, intake screening. So without further ado, I think that's it for now. I want to welcome our um, audience and um, go right into the topic, which is codependency. So <clears throat> codependency um, for parents is uh, recognizing when you're an enabler. Um, a lot of us grew up in maybe families that um, had that type of characteristic of codependency enabling the child um, and they didn't know what was happening. Um, a lot of times with codependency, if we don't realize what's happening, what will happen is, is we will become codependent. A lot of people that we see um, we find that they are codependent. I, I can say that I have been codependent. And so um, from codependency, what happens is, is that we continue to um, manifest the behavior and the cycle. Uh, the term codependency can also be associated with being emotionally dependent on others in relationships. Um, that would be whether it's addiction um, present or not. Uh, codependency turns into an addiction just because you need that person. So um, if it's a parent who wants to resolve um, relationships with their child, um, say that they didn't have a good relationship with their mother or father, the, the parent can feed into the child um, negative or uh, too much hands-on with them where they don't get enough life experience for their self and cause them to become a codependent person because the parent doesn't realize that codependency feeds into addiction. So codependency, it, you know, it goes into a lot of places. It, it's, it's an addictive behavior. Um, codependency uh, causes people to be controlling. Um, they want what they want, all different kind of characteristics. However, you know, in, in addiction treatment, we talk a lot about codependency and ena enabling because the word codependent is usually associated with an addiction, just to make it clear. Okay. It refers to um, the dynamics between the addicted person and the codependent, so you can get a, a better understanding within the family um, and significant others who contribute to the addictive behavior. So... Um, I could give an experience or an example of a child that is giving everything that they want. What you've done when they grow up is made them believe they can have everything that they want from the world, and that's not true. So now you have a child that's spoiled, and um, they grow up into a grown-up that's spoiled, and they're having fits in a relationship. So the emotional gratification is needed from a partner at that um, time or they may feed off of getting it out of their own children if um, they're not getting it from somewhere because if you don't know that you're codependent, you're going to pull for that emotion. 
Right. It's an emotional gratification. So if a child is spoiled, and I've talked to many women over the years and said it's a dissatisfaction, a dissatisfaction to your child to spoil them, to give them everything that they want because you're setting them up for failure. Why? Because the world is not going to give them everything that they want. They won't even be able to get everything that they want. I don't care if they become a doctor, uh, if they are a nurse, you know, and then money cannot buy you everything uh, that you want. So there's some things in life that you just can't have. There's a balance there. So now you look at the word enabling, and you have actually enabled a child from healthy growth, and now they have to suffer consequences emotionally when they, you know, when they're grown. So I was spoiled. And um, I remember having to talk with uh, my God about it. <laughs> and um, so uh, my God showed me in a vision a piece of spoiled meat. And um, it said, this is what you look like, and spoiled meat stinks. You could see the aroma coming off of it. And that helped me a lot because I hadn't consciously become aware, even though I was a grown person, that I was spoiled by my mom. Um, I, I received a lot of love, but there was material aspects there, too. And the material parts just didn't, it didn't satisfy my emotions. So there were some emotions that needed to be dealt with. And so we get older and older, and we don't understand the term codependency, which, again, it has to do with um, can, you know, being associated with emotionally dependent on others in relationships. So that's your mother, your father, your brothers. Um, if your brother went to the school when somebody um, beat you up, and he was always there, or she was all, your sister was always there to um, take up for you, you know, when someone bullied you. You got to be able to fight for yourself, that kind of thing. You got to let your child be able to stand in some position so that they can know that they can make it through trials and tribulations. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, any questions? Okay. All right. Moving on. Down. Let's see. Um, when you examine the parent or the child relationship and how over nurturing a child can be seen as codependent uh, parenting, I've seen um, children become attached or detached, but codependency, um, when you over nurture, is like the child is trying to learn how to walk and you won't let them fall. They have to fall in order to learn anything. You know, that means that when they get to the place where they're going to learn how to ride a bike, you cannot keep them from falling. So I remember that um, um, maybe I did. I was a codependent parent, too, because I remember that when my oldest son um, was crawling, I went and got him some crawling socks. And I just, you know, <laughs> want people to know that, I didn't want him to scar up his knees, and he was a boy. He is a man now, but he is. And so for me not to, him, not to want him to scar, scar up his knees, that's kind of like, to me, that's codependent because, you know, I, I'm i a different kind of mother now. They, My kids have to go to the school of hard knocks, but I just, I was so into this boy, and I wanted to protect him. And that's what parents want to do, but are we protecting them so that they won't be able to learn anything? And that's the key. Uh, life creates situations um, for us to learn. And if we trust, I have to say I trust God. So anybody that comes to this facility, we believe in prayer. Um, and we're going to pray for you even if, it, you know, you don't want us to. It won't be in your faith. I'm going to pray because I don't know anything that's brought me through or helped me to realize that I was a codependent person, but God. All right, addictions. No one can take an addictive personality from you, but God. All right. Because addictions mean you got to go within yourself and deal with it. So when you deal with codependency, you can come and get therapy, but the ultimate end is your spirit man. 
that you you know you're attracted or you go within to your spirit man and you be you begin to work with that to um disconnect old stuff that you had learned um many many children become drug addicts because of codependency you know um a lot of people don't look at it that way but it's something to learn today um, and then if you, you know, if you take us up 11 o'clock next Tuesday, uh, which is February the 12th, um, we'll do another session. Um, a lot of people have children at an attention deficit. They pay too much attention to them and they, they cause them to be codependent because they're giving them the attention. The deficit is in attention. Don't give them the attention, you know. Um, you set them up for failure and a child that may be ADHD or ADD, um, has a addictive behavior working because it wants attention. The hyperactivity caused attention to it. So, you know, it's so many things that you can learn, but the main thing is for you to know that um, Renewed Mind Wellness at 4170 South Decatur is here uh, for you. And if you have children that are hyperactive, if you've never um, known any um, techniques to help your child rather than um, feeding into the hyperactivity, um, you can learn those from us. You know, uh, you can also get uh, counseling for you and your children, um, addiction. You can get counseling for substance abuse. Again, with SAPTA certified, sorry. And um, you can call us again at 702-331-4484. We have three locations. And um, one is at uh, 1311 Maryland Parkway. And then we have 320 um, uh, East Nellis uh, Boulevard off of um, Stewart. All right, so I'm going to cut this short, and I hope uh, that you guys reach out to us. But I also hope that if you are watching, you got some little nuggets to help you along the way uh, regarding codependency because codependency causes um, enabling. And we don't want our children to perpetuate emotional dependency where we Feel like we need people or need things to get us by we want to know that we're free all right all right so again i'm kim warner and i will see you guys next week again bye-bye yeah